Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel or you don't know who I am, my name is Jacob and this is Vintage by Jacob. I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I make a ton of really cool videos just documenting my day-to-day business practices, uh, basically like unboxing videos, tutorials, uh, and I just want to give you guys a little little glimpse behind the scenes of what it's like to be a full-time business owner and reseller online. So if that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment down below. That would be a great way of supporting my journey as a business owner and a YouTuber, uh, and I really cannot appreciate the support enough. So yeah, in today's video, uh, it's going to be kind of a cool one. I'm going to go over some of the pickups I made for myself personally when I was out sourcing in the thrift to find, to find items for my business to resell online. These are uh, all the things of recent that I have found that I'm gonna keep actually and put into my personal wardrobe. So yeah, this should be a super fun video. I think I have a ton of really cool stuff and I'm excited to show you guys what I'm gonna be keeping and what I'm gonna be wearing and what's gonna stay in my closet. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, so I have this pile back here. I think we're gonna start with this. So I basically have this pile and this box um, and I'm just gonna start knocking them out. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on each item because I have quite a few that I wanna get through, but I'm gonna give you guys a little little in-depth, or er, not in-depth, but a little reason as to why I'm keeping these items and well, what stands out to them uh, for me personally and why I like them and why they're going into my closet. So yeah, here we go. First off is this pair of Columbia Snow Pants. Uh, these are actually the Columbia Omnitech Snow Pants, size large. Uh, which is my size, I'm between a medium and a large, and I live in Minnesota, super cold, we get a ton of snow, I love to snowboard, and these are fantastic snow pants for just anything, honestly, uh, going to the going to the uh, snowboarding slope, or just going working outside, or just doing anything outside, snowmobiling, uh, ice fishing, any winter activity, uh, and I'm involved in a lot of them, these are fantastic pants. Uh, these were like five bucks at the thrift store, and uh, these are actually one of the better quality pairs of Columbia snow pants, I think these retail for about 130 bucks, normally uh, so I'm super stoked to have these and I'm definitely going to get a ton of use out of them. Alright next up I have a few t-shirts. I'll rifle through these pretty quick. Uh, this is actually I believe a Duluth Trading Co t-shirt. Yep. Uh, and this is just a blank t-shirt. Um, and I actually have several of these in the pile that I'm going to show you. I think I picked up three or four of them at once. Uh, but the Duluth Trading Co t-shirts are just super high quality t-shirts. I think they're eight and a half ounce t-shirts. Um, they're super hard wearing. Whenever I'm working outside or just doing anything where I just need a tee that I can beat up, don't have to worry about it, uh, I throw something like this on. So these are just going to be a great addition to my wardrobe. Uh, I think these were about a buck a piece. Uh, so for a buck, a t-shirt I can just throw on, beat up, don't have to worry about it, it is fantastic. So yeah, just a Duluth Trading Co. blank t-shirt. Alright, next up another t-shirt is this Yeti Cooler t-shirt. Uh, this t-shirt was five dollars I remember uh, but this is just a super sick t-shirt I am actually pretty partial to the Yeti cooler brand I use uh, a lot of the products uh, definitely their uh, coffee mug I use that every single morning I actually swear by it I know stainless steel tumblers and whatever are probably pretty generic but I got one for Christmas and I haven't looked back since it keeps my coffee warm pretty much all day so I can't complain and I'm gonna support the brand and I found this super cool Yeti graphic shirt and the thrips and I think I'm just gonna keep it. I don't know how much I'm gonna wear it, but it might look cool under a flannel or something like that. So yeah, Yeti cooler graphic t-shirt. <clears throat> All right, next up is this Carhartt t-shirt. Uh, and this is for the exact same reason why I have the Duluth Trading Co t-shirt. Uh, it's just a nice hard wearing t-shirt. I think this one is like a nine and a half ounce t-shirt. So it's a nice thick winter gray t-shirt I can just throw on, go to work, do whatever, don't have to worry about it, beat it up, thrash it, it's all good. Uh, and I think I paid three bucks for this one, so definitely a great price on a t-shirt that I can just not have to worry about too much. All right, next up is, I believe this is a, this isn't a Duluth Trading Co, this is a LL Bean t-shirt, another blank t-shirt bought it for the exact same reasons as the Duluth Trading Co t-shirt. They're almost identical t-shirts, uh, super hard wearing, great quality, throw it on, beat it up, doesn't matter. I also paid a buck for this one. Uh, all the Duluth Trading Co t-shirts and this LLB t-shirt were on a dollar clothing rack at, uh, at uh, Goodwill, so picked it up a buck, 
I mean, great price. You honestly can't beat it. All right, next up are, I actually got two pairs of these. These were $2.50 a piece. And these are, let me show you. These are Columbia Performance Fishing Gear Pants. Uh, and I actually own an identical pair uh, to these that are that's currently in my in my wardrobe, but I just got two more pairs I'm gonna add to it. Uh, these are the Omni Shade pants, and what's fantastic about these pants is that they are um, like waterproof, or I don't even know the correct term for them, but you can basically use them as a swimming trunk, and they dry super fast. They actually zip off at the knee, so you can pretty much turn them into shorts with swimming trunks. Um, uh, they're they're sun resistant, so they'll keep you protected from the sun on hot days. I'm a I'm a really big angler during the summer, um, just because we have a ton of lakes in Minnesota, uh, and and I'm a firm believer in the Columbia Performance fishing gear, and I like to rock it all summer long. So I got two uh, pairs, and they're basically brand new that I can add to my arsenal currently. So I'm super happy with this. Five bucks for these. Um, and if you go to like a Columbia or an REI or, a, or an outdoor store, uh, these are super expensive. They're at least 60 plus dollars, 60, 70, 80 dollars. I mean, it is ridiculous how expensive some of this gear can be. So I'm super, super happy I can add this up to my wardrobe without breaking the bank at all. Um, I mean, all these clothes together probably were less than 50 dollars for the, for the whole entire lot. I mean, so, so I'm, all these clothes I'm showing you today are less than a pair of these that would be retail. So. Definitely super happy about that. I'm super excited because if I lose a pair or ruin a pair, I have two more to fall back on. All right, next up is this guy. So this is a 100% wool sweater. Uh, yep, 100% virgin wool. It's not a super unique brand like a Pendleton, or not unique, a super like sought after brand like a Pendleton or a Woolrich or something. Uh, but this guy was three bucks. Um, anytime I can pick up a wool sweater for super cheap, I definitely will. And uh, there's kind of a, kind of a reason why I picked this up, and I will have to show you the next one uh, for that to make sense. So this is another not yeah. This is another wool wool wool. This is another wool sweater that I picked up. Uh, I picked these up together. This one was three dollars. This one was five dollars. But like I said, from Minnesota, super cold. I love to snowboard. Um, I go on several trips every year. I have a season season membership to one of the local snowboarding hills in my area, um, and I go at least three times a week, if not more. I go as much as I can. Um, but you always have to be prepared for whatever the weather is. So this sweatshirt is actually a thin uh, Italian spun merino wool sweater, and this is a thicker virgin wool sweater. So what I have here for for eight dollars respectively is a fantastic layering system for the cold winter weather. Um, merino wool is super soft and you can wear this pretty much next to your skin. So this is a fantastic uh, base layer type material. And if you've ever looked into base base layers, uh, there's certain companies, one of which being Icebreaker or Smart Wool, uh, they make base layers that are made out of 100% merino wool, much like this sweatshirt. And they are so expensive. They're like over $100 just for a shirt hundred dollars for a pair of leggings um, so I mean you're looking at two three hundred dollars for for just a nice uh, base layer set that you can use during the winter so for eight bucks I have a fantastic base layer shirt and a mid layer shirt so I will be able to layer these together um, and honestly they'll give me a really nice like a uh, winter weather protection combination so that's my plan with these guys um, when the winter comes uh, and as it gets colder and I start making more videos about winter gear, I will definitely keep you updated about how this goes, but a fantastic, warm, uh, weather resistant base layering system for eight bucks. Uh, I'm super stoked about this and I'm excited to use these two sweatshirts in, or sweaters in the winter. All right, moving on and I know exactly two of these. So yeah, these are, like I said before, I picked up a couple of these, two more. Duluth Trading Co shirts. This, these two are in blue. Same deal. Great quality. Buck a piece. I'm gonna wear the heck out of these, uh, and I'm not gonna worry about it. So yeah, personal pickups from the thrift. Some cheap, good quality t-shirts. All right, moving on. This is a, if I am not mistaken, a Woolrich flannel shirt. 
check this out. So this is a wool rich flannel shirt. Um, it's like a, I, th I think you pronounce it camoise, camoise flannel. Uh, but basically it's like a super soft brush flannel, 100% uh, cotton, just a staple flannel shirt. It's got uh, uh, some nice, uh, just a nice deer print on it. I actually am a hunter as well. I mean, this, if you guys can tell after watching uh, videos for quite some time, I am more into kind of like the rugged outdoor style type clothing as opposed to more like hype clothing, vintage clothing, but I'm a fan of it all at the end of the day, I guess. But a lot of my outfits do comprise of kind of like these outdoor rugged staple pieces um, just because like I like how hard wearing stuff like this is and I just think it's really practical and what have you. But I think this was $3, $2.50 maybe um, for a great flannel shirt. Um, be perfect for layering and yeah, good quality, Woolrich. I always pick up this stuff. Next up is this St. Cloud State graphic t-shirt. Uh, this is actually the college I went to, St. Cloud State, uh, go Huskies. Uh, but yeah, I picked it up just because it's kind of nostalgic to me. It'll be just kind of another go-to shirt I can throw on, not really worry about, or not really care about, and kind of, and it has a cool graphic too, I think. Uh, and I think this was all, this one was a dollar also. So yeah, just a perfect tee, uh, especially for me. I can represent the school that I went to, be proud of it, and be comfortable and not have to worry at the same time. All right, moving along, we have a Comfort Colors blank t-shirt. Picked this up for the exact same reason as the Duluth Trading Co. t-shirts, uh, but to be perfectly honest, if you're a working guy, blue collar, um, or, or if you're in some sort of profession that that requires uh, your, your clothes to work really hard for you, thrift store, pick up some cheap shirts, uh, stuff like this, like the Comfort Colors brand, the the Ello Beans, the Duluth, the Carhartt, all those stuff are fantastic for any type of job like that. You won't have to feel committed to, to the clothing that you purchased and paid a ton of money for if you bought it. I mean, shirts like the Duluth and the Ello Bean and the Carhartt, those are like 20 bucks retail or more uh, for a shirt that you just plan on, on beating up. So, I mean, it's it's way more practical to go to the thrift store, uh, go on the days where there's deals. I You can find great deals for clothes, especially if you're, if you're intending on working in them or even if you're like a painter or something, just clothes like this that you can beat up, not worry about it, um, and are super comfy, like for a buck. I, you can't even, they can't even make a shirt like this for a buck, so yeah, uh, go to the thrift. Uh, it's a great place to find any type of clothing, to be honest. All right, moving on to a little bit more of a technical piece. Uh, this is an Under Armour Heat Gear shirt. Uh, I really like these shirts, uh, just as base layers underneath like flannels and like those wool sweaters and stuff. Uh, just a super like nice athletic type fabric, moisture wicking, really comfortable. Uh, this was a buck as well. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of t-shirts, but uh, I use t-shirts a lot. I use them as base layers. I work in them, all this stuff. So like, so this is super practical for me. And these are actually a really pretty, a shirt like this is like 30, 40 bucks. If you go to like the Under Armour outlet or some sort of sporting goods store. So that's crazy. Um, but yeah, super, super awesome team uh, and super practical as well. All right, moving along, we have this pair of woolen pants. Uh, I think these are old military surplus pants. I paid $8 for these, which is a little bit higher, but trust me, if you never own wool pants and you will live in a very cold climate, these things are a game changer. Um, um, you can literally throw these on instead of jeans and it's almost like, it, it's like wearing jeans, but it's also like all the qualities you get of wearing big, bulky, uncomfortable snow pants. You can just throw these on and you can just go crazy. Uh, go outside, do whatever you want, play in the snow, do whatever you want. They're super like warm and thick and protective and but still practical for some reason. And I mean, the style I guess is debatable. These kind of have an old fashioned style to them, but but for me, when I'm going out to shovel the snow or like just doing any any sort of project around the house that I had, like hanging up Christmas lights, I wore a pair of pants very similar to these. Just throw these on, you don't have to worry about it. Um, so yeah, eight bucks. These are becoming increasingly hard to find. Wool is a very sought after material and it's very expensive to produce. So if you can find anything woolen in the thrift, it's generally a smart idea to pick it up um, because it's generally pretty valuable. So yeah, these pants can't go wrong. All right. Moving along, we have 
this, and I forgot what this is. Oh, yeah. This is in Adidas Minnesota Timberwolves. It's one of like their athletic, athletic like polyester shirts. Uh, shirt, and it's literally brand new. I've said it before, I'm from Minnesota, and I love the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, I'm super excited with what they're doing here. We got D'Angelo Russell, Carl Anthony Towns, just drafted Anthony Edwards, which I'm actually really happy about. Um, signed Malik B, all that stuff. Like, I am a super big geek about Minnesota sports. Um, and this is just going to be another way I can represent them. Uh, this was, I think, two bucks. Um, and I really like the shirt because I've been a long standing Minnesota Timberwolves fan. And this is one of their uh, tribute shirts to our old head coach, uh, Flip Saunders. We now have his son, Ryan Saunders, but Flip actually tragically passed away as, a, as the head coach of the Minnesota Timberwolves. So, um, I don't know. It just, it feels like my closet is the right place for something like this. So I'm super happy to have it. It was only a couple bucks. Definitely going to wear it during the season. And yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves Adidas shirt. Okay. This is an Under Armour Heat Gear long sleeve shirt. Uh, and very much similar to the other Under Armour shirt that I, that I showed you. But this one is actually for my girlfriend. Um, these long sleeve heat gear shirts are fantastic in the winter months. In the winter months, uh, as base layers or just like like a layering piece, um, they're super comfortable. They're super moisture wicking. They're just like great all around shirts. Um, so this one was only a couple bucks at the thrift. I got it for my girlfriend, um, and and I think she's gonna wear it a lot this winter. So I'm super happy I could uh, outfit her as well with some really good winter gear um, on the low. So yeah. Here we go, moving along. We have this Woolrich, uh, another flannel shirt. Um, this one is like a uh, canvas flannel shirt, and I just think this pattern is super sick. Like I said, I always pick up Woolrich stuff and flannels that I think I would wear, but I just love this like rustic style. Um, and this one is, uh, so the Woolrich tags, they all mean a different thing, so the John, and Woolrich tag, the one that's blue and yellow is the highest quality uh, Woolrich label that there is. And then there's just like the regular Woolrich label, which I guess is apparently lower quality, but I, to be honest, I've never really been able to tell the difference too much. Um, but apparently these are the more higher quality pieces. They just use a little bit better materials, what have you. Uh, but yeah, this is a super hard wearing flannel. It's literally brand new. I paid five bucks for it, I believe. and. I'm definitely going to be rotating this in my uh, winter outfits a ton. Okay, uh, next up we have this Duluth Pack t-shirt. Okay, so the cool thing about this t-shirt is, and I made a video on this in the past, um, is basically the Duluth Pack company. So Duluth Pack is a, a locally local Minnesota company. Uh, they originated making uh, uh, gear to outfit the, the, the fur traders and the voyagers, uh, especially the ones who would go in canoes. Their, their first uh, like original product was a canoe backpack, and it was made out of like this uh, tin wax cloth. Super cool. I made a video about where I got a Duluth pack hat, and I replicated it to one of their more expensive wax canvas hats. It was a DIY. It's super fun to make, so go check that out if you haven't seen it. But uh, this was, I believe, three bucks. It's just a basic Duluth Pack t-shirt, but all their goods are, to be honest, really expensive because they're kind of like a sought-after company as well. Um, and it can be expensive if you want to actually represent them and wear their, their like, store-bought goods if you buy them for retail price. But I paid a couple bucks for this. Awesome t-shirt. One of the coolest things about it is it actually has a bottle opener on it. So go figure. Had to pick this up. Had to represent a local company, and I think I'm going to wear that shirt made a lot. Moving along, we have this uh, vintage wool shirt. And I actually am pretty confident that this is a vintage Boy Scout shirt. Um, and much similar to the pants, I wear a ton of woolen goods just because it's so practical. They're so warm, they're so durable. I mean, wool will literally outlast you. I mean, there's wool jackets from like, I don't even know, like, the early 1900s that are still in like pristine condition and people wear them every single day. Um, so wool is 
like extremely hard wearing good. They're super expensive, and um, if you can get a good price on them, they're they're a no brainer to buy. Um, they're also great with water. You can get wool wet, and it'll insulate you uh, even when wet. So it's fantastic if you're literally in a dire situation. Like like um, I'm a I'm a I'm a really big believer. Like especially um, growing up in rural Minnesota. Um, with really low population towns. I'm talking about towns with like less than 100 people, like, and that's like, that's all around you. Uh, having a good, like, full jacket in the trunk of your car, if, if God forbid you were ever to get stranded, that thing could save your life. Or having a wool blanket in the back of the car, it's the same exact principle. So that's why I've always been pretty partial to wool. Um, I think it's just a fantastic uh, textile. Uh, so every time I can pick it up, I can. But yeah, uh, this is an old Boy Scouts wool shirt. It fits me perfectly. and. I think I'm gonna be wearing this thing a lot. I mean, it is super bright red, but um, a lot of times, uh, I mean, I think it looks kind of cool, but a lot of times I do prioritize uh, function over fashion. Um, but I mean, I like my mix of both, but this is definitely a function first piece, uh, and I'm super happy to uh, throw this into my wardrobe. It's a nice flick, or not flick, nice thick uh, wool flannel butt down. All right, uh, we're actually nearing the end. Uh, I think we got a couple of jackets left. So this one is a, another woolen jacket. This is a yep, field and gear wool jacket. And I just love this checkered pattern. Uh, this thing is super sick. It's super heavyweight. Um, this thing would be like a rival almost to like the Filson Mackinac Cruiser or the, or the Woolrich uh, wool hunting coat. I mean, this is just a super nice woolen jacket. Um, and I think this one was five bucks. I got a, such a steal on this. I mean, even if I saw this in the thrift, I would probably pay up to 20 bucks for it. Um, that's just how much I treasure stuff like this. Um, and I'm super excited to put this in my wardrobe for the same exact reasons as the Boy Scout flannel. Um, but this is just a little bit thicker version, basically. More of a jacket as opposed to a button-down flannel type shirt. Next up, we have this Woolrich Fleece Vest. Well, as you can see, every time I, I find Woolrich in a thrift, if it's, uh, if it's a good condition piece, I usually will throw it into my own wardrobe just because that's how much I believe in the company. Companies like Woolrich and Filson and Carhartt and Pendleton and Patagonia, like all those major like um, time-tested sportswear companies, I generally tend to keep their items, unfortunately. I know it's kind of a bad habit, but I do because their products have, stand, have withstood the test of time and they're still made great today. So this is just a simple fleece vest, perfect for layering, perfect for, you know, when you need that extra warmth, put this on. It's not going to have the bulk that you would have with, the, with something with sleeves and you can throw a jacket on over it and just be just as comfortable, but even warmer. So great piece. I paid three bucks for it. Believe, and it's just uh, everybody should have a nice fleece vest if you live in a colder climate or just a nice vest in general. Uh, it's just a good idea because it's not a lot of weight and a lot of warmth. So, yeah. All right, so second to last piece is this Woolrich uh, Pullover Parka Hoodie. Uh, and this is an old one. It's on the really old tag. It's super cool. I, I really like a lot of the vintage Woolrich pieces. Um, unfortunately, this is not uh, a down parka. It, it is uh, synthetic insulation, which is okay with me. I think it's still a really cool piece. It's not in the greatest condition, but but that kind of reassures me that this can just be a piece that I can throw on it and beat up a little bit and not have to worry about it. I mean, it's got a couple stains and and just a couple imperfections, but I still love the style of it, that it's a pullover hoodie, um, nice big kangaroo pocket on it, and, and, and it still is insulated, even if it's not down, it still uh, has some good insulation value to it, so yeah, definitely a super cool piece, and it's vintage, so I just kind of, I feel cool when I wear stuff like this, so, um, I think I paid five bucks for this one, so, yeah, awesome jacket, Woolrich Parka. Alright, the last item in the box is another pair of uh, woolen pants and I already gave you the spiel on the wool pants they are so practical fantastic uh, I think if you live like in the Midwest or I don't even know honestly I don't even care where you live everybody should own a pair of wool pants um, they're just so 
great. Then you will just use them way, way more than you think you would. Um, but yeah, another pair. I picked these up at the same place, actually. These are $8 as well. Um, great condition. I think they, these ones are uh, a military grade one or a military issued one, but nonetheless, these things are like brand new. Uh, they still have decades left to wear in them. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I just thought this would be a fun video, kind of show you guys what I keep uh, when I when I source items. Um, I, I, and I've been really good about it. I mean, when I first started sourcing items, I would always keep like the coolest things. Like I would keep all the cool vintage t-shirts and I would wear them. But, but I never, I never got to the point where I would wear them enough to justify keeping them. Uh, and I realized that, that it was better just to get more money flowing through my business and more inventory that, uh, then, then I kind of got past that stage. And no, this is kind of stuff that I keep, uh, <laughs> more of the practical items, so to speak. So, uh, if you found this video interesting, hit the like button that can really help out the channel. Also, if you want to stay updated with all my newest videos, hit the subscribe button that can also really help out the channel and leave a comment down below. If you would like to talk to me, whether it's feedback, criticism, doesn't matter I'd love to talk to you guys um, but that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed uh, listening and watching through the items that I've been keeping when I've been going to the thrift and yeah I guess uh, I hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving I hope you guys ate a lot and have a lot of leftovers that'll last you through the weekend uh, because I do uh, which I'm pretty stoked about I, I'm still like groggy and tired from Thanksgiving it's actually kind of sad but um, with that being said, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's Friday. I will see you guys on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. I really do appreciate all the support. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.